Hello everybody, today what we're going to be looking at is exploring systems of linear equations. So, um, let's go and look at this first example. Lakeview Middle School is having a food drive. The graph below shows the number of cans each class has collected for the food drive. Write an equation to represent the number of cans Y that each class has collected after X days. So in this example, we have the one that I highlighted in red, which is Mrs. Lake's class, and Mr. Luke's class, which is highlighted in blue. And I want us to come up with an equation in Y equals MX plus B form. Now I want you to notice in red in Mrs. Lake's class, this is a horizontal line. So this is an example where it's just going to say Y equals and then a number. So in this example, no matter what my X value is, my Y value is always 30. Which means someone on the, like, uh, the very beginning of the competition gave 30 cans or they just had 30 cans in the classroom to begin with and they never got any more. So this equation for Mrs. Lake is Y equals 30. So throughout the competition, it doesn't matter how many weeks pass, they always had 30 cans. Now, if we go ahead and look at Mr. Luke's class, Mr. Luke's class starts at the origin, which is 0, 0, and it shows that it goes up 6 cans every one week. So once again, it goes up 6 cans every one week, and then one more time, up 6 cans every one week. So it's rise over, excuse me, rise over run is up 6 over 1, up 6 over 1. So his equation would be y equals 6x, and since it started at the origin, that would be my b value, that would be plus b. So his equation is y equals 6x. So what is the point of intersection? Verify using the equations that the point of intersection is correct. So looking at here, the point of intersection is where the red and the blue line cross, and that would be right here. This would represent 5 comma 30. So what this re uh, represents at five days, they both have 30 uh, cans in each classroom. So it wants us to verify that, that that is true. Well, the first equation was y equals 30. That means no matter what my x value is, my y value was 30. And so if I plugged in five, I would also have a value of 30. The other equation was y equals 6x, and it's saying if I plugged in 5 for x, so after 5 days, what would my total number of cans be, my y? So that would be y equals 30. So both those verify it. So anytime it asks you to verify, just plug in the point of intersection where the two lines cross, and you should get that value, which we did here, which was 5 comma 30. So write context that represents the graph. What does the point of intersection represent in your context? So um, what this would look like is, let's go ahead and double check the names, Mr. Luke and Mrs. Lake. Okay, so Mrs. Lake has 30 cans in the competition. Mr. Sorry, what was his name? Mr. Luke collects six cans per day. And then it says, what does the point of intersection? So that would be this next line. At five days, they both have 30 cans. So the point of intersection is just when the two uh, variables are equal. All right, so now it says write the following equations in slope intercept form. Some of this might be review, but some of it could be a tad tricky, so we just want to make sure we're on the same page here. So the first thing what we want to do is try to get this negative 2y all by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 fourth x on both sides. This would give me negative 2y is equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 24. Now the next step what I want to do is divide everything by negative 2. So since there's already a division sign, I'm just going to keep this down here as a negative 2 and divide it by negative 2. This would give me y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 2 times 4 is just 8. So 1 eighth x 
Same idea, negative divided by a negative is a positive. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So your equation in slope-intercept form is y equals 1 8 x plus 12. All right, and this next one, anytime we have two fractions and they are equal to each other, the quickest way to solve this is to cross multiply. So I'm going to have 8 times the quantity of 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 times the quantity of 10 minus y. So now what I'm going to do is distribute to get 16x plus 8 is equal to 50 minus 5y. All right, so now the next step is what I want to do is get y all by itself. So I'm going to minus 50 on both sides. This will give me, I'm going to uh, rewrite it, it's a little easier for me to um, write it in slope intercept form. So I'm going to have negative 5y is equal to 16x minus 42. And my last step is just to divide each and every term by negative 5. And this would give you a final answer of y equals negative 16 over 5x plus 42 over 5. All right, guys, um, I hope this helps with your homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or your teacher.